turn to steal the show. Let's go! Egypt is one of the top leading countries in Africa that has an outstanding proficiency in dance gaming, with a highly dedicated Egyptian community improving their development and also with a vast of Pump It Up cabinets being currently known for now their dominant dance game nationwide. Since there isn't a full panel dance game like Dance as Revolution discovered at the moment within this country. Egypt comes second in Africa on having the most pump cabinet access with obtaining seven cabinets ranging various series. But keep out on the look if more dance games are discovered within this country. South Africa comes first with having eight various pump cabinets, whilst Nigeria comes third with five various pump cabinets. And lastly, Sudan, Angola, Ethiopia, and Tanzania being the last continentally, with two pump cabinets either being the same or different series. We really hope that today's documentary can give more various insights towards the whole world about Egyptian dance gaming culture and also towards the Egyptian dance gaming community to explore various pump cabinets, dance gaming resources, and more. For them to try out onto making their dance gaming lives more effective and diverse for dance gaming studies. Without further ado, here's to Egyptian arcades with dance games. So, this is how today's documentary is going to be laid out. Please take note that there could possibly be more arcade discoveries with dance games within Egypt, so it's highly recommended to keep on receiving recent updates about Egypt on the ZIV webpage. So with Egypt having 7 arcades to be discussed about, luckily, we have 3 arcades that are fully elaborated at their finest detail to discuss on this video. Thanks to an amazing Egyptian dance gamer for exploring those three arcades and sharing with the whole world all of these vital details. Frosty520. I hope I pronounced your dance gaming name right. Then the remaining four arcades will be discussed on what has or had been researched on media. But we hope that these arcades will get physically investigated by the community in the future. And we'll keep you guys all updated on that. We'll be laying out all of these seven arcades in terms of the pump series going in order. Okay, we might just expose this arcade out of the seven to go against today's strategy of listing the arcades orderly in terms of pump series because it has a pump cabinet which honestly no one will ever take it seriously. In an arcade called Magic Planet located in Cairo Festival City Mall, it has access to a pump it up jump cabinet. Oh, wait up a second. If you ever come across seeing this advertisement on YouTube, please take note that City Center Almazar does not have access to a pump cabinet at all. It's just that they had created this advertisement at the Mall of Egypt and not in their own actual mall. So we thought that, coming from this advert, this mall could possibly have access to a pump prime cabinet in their own arcade. But according to Frosty520, this statement isn't true. We gon' sip punch our gifts so that's all alright. Yeah, alright. It's uh. so wonderful. Uh. There's not any information to give an introducing overview about this arcade, but we do have some brief details about what needs to be discussed about, in which these details are in bullet point form. We'll also do the same procedure with all the remaining arcades left to elaborate. So let's get on the go! In an arcade called E-Zone, located in City Star Helipolis Mall, it has access to two Pump It Up NX GX cabinets. We're currently not sure about the price for a gameplay, but we'll keep you all updated if we ever gather that information. The overall cabinet conditions though. The only thing that we can comment about this factor is both of the cabinet's monitor replacements. Both monitors had been replaced in 2013, so they both look slightly different till this day than how a usual GX cabinet would look like. There isn't any data about pad quality and maintenance at the moment, but we hope that this cabinet gets physically investigated by the Egyptian community in the future. Right now it's time to lose control. 
control. There is also not any information to give an overview, but not only that we have some brief details to share about this arcade, we also found plenty of gameplays performed there. In an arcade called Camillo and Jazz located in Ajiad Castle Mall, it has access to a Fiesta 2 TX cabinet. We are also not sure about the price for a full gameplay, but to comment on the overall cabinet conditions and pad quality or maintenance. Based on the gameplays as our source, it looks like this cabinet is in overly good conditions. But we'd love to hear from the community if they get a chance to investigate this arcade for more on depth data in the future. In an arcade called Fun Kingdom, located in Sun City Mall, it has access to a Pump Fiesta EXCX cabinet. Through deep investigations on media, that is all that we can find for now. But we'll keep you all updated if more resources pop up in the future. Pump It Up Prime 2015 is the latest pump series in Egypt for now. So usually, most of the Egyptian community would grind training on the series. There are three arcades that have access to the series in which these places are Mall of Egypt, Dandy Mall, and lastly, Potokara Mall. Out of these three arcades, Mall of Egypt is known to have the best quality prime cabinet. But let's get started on elaborating each finest detail collaborated with Frosty 520's research about these arcades. Okay, there are two arcade branches that have access to this series, in which they are Fabi Land and Magic Planet. Mall of Egypt has the Magic Planet arcade branch, whilst both Dandy Mall and Porto Caramel have the Fabi Land arcade branch. So, at Mall of Egypt, with their prime cabinets ranked as the best quality nationwide, the cost for one full gameplay and they use game cards instead of tokens will be 16 Egyptian pounds. The overall cabinet conditions are normal as how a regular Prime TX cabinet would be, but to comment on the pack quality and maintenance, according to Frosty 520, it's not really the best. Like, you'd have to step quite harder for the panels to register. The pads are pretty decent for easy levels, but it can get a bit annoying on charts going onwards to level 10 and over. If you have any queries that we haven't included about this arcade, you can add them in the comments below or kindly reach out to Frosty520 through his socials for more accurate answers since he physically trains there with his dance gaming community. Let's now talk about the Fabuland arcade branches. So, the one at Dandy Mall, they also use game cards instead of tokens. The cost for one full gameplay on their prime cabinets is 17 Egyptian pounds. So, it will be more highly recommended to train the same series at Mall of Egypt since it's cheaper over there. To comment on the overall cabinet conditions, according to Frosty520, it's not in good conditions. The colors on the screen look a bit dimmed, but as you already insert the credits to start playing, picking your songs and menu options isn't an issue, it's all okay. But as you begin your gameplay, there's like a delay on the arrows reaching towards the receptors on beat of the music for like half a second in which makes this cabinet unplayable. On the plus side, above the pad quality and maintenance, the pads are more sensitive and responsive than the ones in Mall of Egypt. But this delay issue is bringing such a huge disadvantage towards Egyptian dance gamers. If any of you pump players know how to deal with this situation, you may reach out to Frosty520 through his socials or DM the SAE team on any of our socials and we'll kindly appreciate your assistance. Another arcade branch located in Porto Caro Mall, it is owned by the same company in which that is in Dandy Mall. Hence, the cost for one full gameplay on their prime cabinets is also 17 Egyptian pounds. Frosty520 had passed by seeing this cabinet a long time ago, but he hasn't tried it yet. To comment overly on this cabinet, it is pretty much dead nowadays, so it's not really recommended to consider training at this arcade.
That's all the seven arcades in Egypt that have access to dance games. Well, in this case, the Pump It Up series being kindly known as the available dance game within this country. Huge shout out to Frosty520 once more for sharing the finest details about Egyptian dance gaming and you should all go check out this documentary about his life of dance gaming and just being an avid Egyptian dance gamer fighting for his pump dreams to come true for himself and also for his community. Thank you so much for watching this documentary and see you guys on our next project. Hot to go to go hot to go to go hot